Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just took delivery of this brand new Tesla Model X Raven. And so I'm gonna go take it down to the version three supercharger over here in Vegas and see if I can't get this thing to charge at 200 kilowatts. There's been some talk on the internet saying that the only cars that charge up to 250 are the uh, Model 3s, uh, but there was something that Tesla released a while ago that said that the new S's and X's could also charge up to 200 kilowatts, but I haven't found anything on the internet to uh, prove that to be true, so I'm gonna go try it out right now and see what happens. All right, guys, so here we go. We have about 39 miles of range. Um, we are navigating to the supercharger. Um, it shows that we're gonna have 11% when we get there. Um, from everything I understand, you have to navigate to get access the full power. You have to navigate there so that the car will preheat the batteries uh, to take the full charge when you arrive. So, um, yeah, one more thing. Uh, I'm, I'm heading southbound on uh, I-15 and it wants us to get off at Spring Mountain. Uh, as of right now, from my understanding, there's a lot of construction going on over there. So I'm going to actually be exiting uh, off of Flamingo and taking Flamingo and I'll show you how, kind of how we get there uh, that way. It's the easiest way to get to uh, that supercharger. So here we are, we're on uh, Flamingo, passing Bally's, gonna go over here behind uh, the Cromwell, Flamingo and Link. And uh, we're gonna be making a left over here on, I believe it's called Link Drive, but there is still a lot of construction down here, uh, like always, so. All right guys, so we just got in, got a ticket, now we're backing up to the charger. And let's see what happens. Version three, supercharger, thin cable, and this is gonna be the first time I'm charging this thing. All right. And we have waiting to charge green light. So let's go over here. And let's take a look. All right. So right now we it is 4:11 and let's see how she does. Yeah, so it looks like we've stopped at 70 kilowatts, 235 miles an hour. Interesting. So, yeah, I navigated over here, um, did everything the way that it was supposed to be done. Um, I don't know if there's any other way to Precondition the battery to heat it up any faster. Um, again, we're at a low state of charge, which is kind of where you want to be to get the maximum charging speed. But yeah, it's showing us one hour and 10 minutes over here. So let's give it a little bit, see if the battery kind of heats up and, uh, and see if it kind of picks up. It is 417. We've been charging for uh, six minutes and we're still climbing down here. Um, been sitting here watching it and uh, you know, we haven't moved. I did lower the um, the charge limit to 90%, but we're at 138 kilowatts, 464 miles per hour. Now we're at 439, so it's, it's slowly, it looks like the battery wasn't warming or it wasn't warm, so it's now starting to slowly warm up. Uh, again, we're still at a very low state of charge, so you know, we uh, like right now we're in the we just got into the green and we're at 139 kilowatts an hour. So again, you know, I read that you know via software update, which was this post came out, you know, and too early this year, like in April, I think they said that the uh, Model S's and X's would be able to charge up to 200 kilowatts an hour um, with the new Raven um, uh, cars. And um, I'm over here at a version three supercharger and it looks like as of today, that is not true. So yeah, looks like 138 kilowatts, probably going to be uh, the max. But uh, if that changes, I will let, come back and give you an update. 
All right guys, so 45 minutes in and um, we've got back 250 plus miles of range and uh, it definitely didn't charge as quick as I wanted it to, but uh, it did the job. All right guys, uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here. We've been here for about 45 minutes and we're at 260 miles of range, a little bit, about about 50 minutes. Um, I do believe that if the battery was actually preconditioned, I don't think it was doing that on the way over here, so I'm gonna have to do some research and figure out how to do that. Um, but I think if the battery was preconditioned, it that ramp up that took about five minutes to get up there, that would have been instantaneous if the, um, or a lot quicker, uh, had the battery been preconditioned. Um, one thing I will like to let you know, if you're interested in renting this Model X or a Model 3, uh, I have mine listed for, uh, for rent on Turo. So if you're in Vegas and uh, want to rent one, the link is going to be down in the description box below uh, for you to check it out. And um, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Um, it's a, it's a learning experience. This is my first time uh, charging a Model X, and um, at least I know now uh, what to expect. Um, but going down the road and, uh, you know, with other chargers, that's going to be definitely going to be a little bit slower than this one being a version three and the other one's not. Um, and I'm going to find out because I'm going on a 6,000 mile road trip in this car, uh, starting at the end of the week. And I'm going to try to document, um, my journey and, uh, take you along with me. If you're interested, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. Um, also I took delivery of this car like the second to last day of the, uh, Q3. So if you're interested in, in hearing, uh, what it was like to take delivery of a Tesla at the end of Q3, um, go ahead and, uh, and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be putting that video out pretty soon. So thank you again for watching and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.